changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. You can be fooled, you can be scammed by just yeah. about anybody. <laughs> you know, I remember being on That's air. True. Even me being on air and then mm -hmm. just things. I said, okay, I can trust this guy. Mm -hmm. I saw something on Facebook, I was already on air. I said, mm -hmm. I can trust this guy, I know this guy, I can mm -hmm. trust him. I was fake. So, we are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pata Pato Show. How I got out of that, only God. Only God so, knows, right? You know, so. But you know what? I take I take what you said that everything that we listen to in this life, you must listen Absolutely. to with a pinch. A bit of, of salt. salt. Yes. Like you can't just you, anybody can fool Absolutely. you at any time. Absolutely. And even your kid can you can, can, you. can prank you. And, and, and you know what? That's I mean that's what, what you're saying really makes sense sure. to me. Sure. So how have you been able to stay relevant in this era right now where we have non-professionals? That that's a great <laughs> question. Um, <laughs> that that's a great question. Uh, you know. It's just like somebody, when you introduce me, you say mentor. Mm -hmm. I mentor thousands. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've never set out to be anybody's mentor. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. I don't dream those things. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a star. I never wanted to be a star. star. In fact, I'm star. not a star. I still tell myself I'm not a star. Of not course you are. Well, well, that is you saying it. Because the moment it gets into my head that mm -hmm. I'm a star, then I will just fall off. That's right. Be That's right. I need That's to calm down. Right. So, I just do the things that I need to do. I don't want to be relevant. Mm. Believe me, I just do what I need to do. Oh. And then I need to go on. You either, and in um, 49 years, and mm. then about um, 27 years of doing this, mm -hmm. I've never been too high, not too low. Too low. I'm just there. You've just been constant. I'm just, I'm just myself. I'm That's just right. like a bush. And I remind right. myself permanently, and um, which, you know, let me use this window to answer something that I think um, everyone, would need, uh, everyone so. needs to know. And that is, you're going to walk in this situation, people condemn you so much. People have asked me, how do you stay sane? Mm. So much praise, and then how do you handle that? And then so much condemnation. The truth for me, really, mm. is that whether you praise or whether you condemn or... In fact, when you praise, it comes here, and then it goes here. When you condemn, mm. it comes here, and then it goes here. And it makes me stay sane. Mm -hmm. When I hear praise, you know, like I hear people write things about me, fine mm -hmm. stuff, I tell myself, look, mm -hmm. don't be fooled. Don't fall Remember, mm -hmm. there are other people too who think that you are not even anything. Mm -hmm. So I balance that. And that has helped me. Mm -hmm. It's something I want everybody to do. Once you do that, you're going to stay. And don't have expectations. Oh, for anybody. Don't have expectations. And from my attitude. Even from your family. Mm -hmm. Don't have expectations. Even mm -hmm. from your fans. I was just telling, just backstage now, we live in a society where you get 99% of our, uh, 99 percent, that's 99 of our 100. Mm -hmm. Ah, but suddenly you come, you you have won over 100, mm -hmm. you, you did poorly, you failed. Mm -hmm. Nobody remembers the 99%. That you have. Nobody forgets this 1%. That's they right. all want to talk about this 1%. Yeah, how right. could he, that how could he be condemned? No, that's right. You know, so that alone will make you stay sane just mm. and be a human being know mm. God that's right stay on the side of God that's so that right. anyhow anyhow you know that mm. you can survive the way you raise yourself as if you are some God some this one when they abandon you you start feeling like that's something right. is wrong you that's know? right Mark, you know what you and I kind of have something similar when it has to do with how we face being a, a public figure sure for me I'm like I say I'm not I'm like James sure I need a rain no need that do I want to fade. If you notice that you and I have been in this world sure. for 35 years sure. and all I have seen is jeans has always been in fashion. Sure. We just keep rebranding it, styling mm. and doing something mm. else, mm. but it still stays in fashion. And one thing that I have learned to do in life as well is to make sure that I keep my head up at all times. Absolutely. Validate yourself. Mm. What are you doing wrong? Build up yourself. Absolutely. What are you doing right? Praise yourself. Whatever else somebody else tells you outside, just wow, thank you, you like yeah, sure. that. Because again, my father said to me, you must always be a master of your craft. Mm. Because if you're not a master of your craft, Think accolades mm. is going to make you Absolutely. get mm. out of what you were supposed to be doing. And for me, that has just been 
It, and just hearing you say mm, that, sure. that's why, and it, it tells me a whole lot sure. why you have turned out to Absolutely. be who you yeah. have been today. Yeah. Well, one of the other questions I want to ask you is, uh, in terms of blogging, what is a professional way to practice blogging? Well, I'm not a blogger. I, I try to make sure I stay, um, that's one of the fine things about me. Mm -hmm. I'm not what I'm not. Okay. I, I don't pretend that I have all the answers. I'm not God. God. I just have my own answers because these are things I've done. Mm -hmm. You know, way back in the university, a young woman said something, Many, many years, this is over 20 years now, mm -hmm. but I think I stuck with me. Wow. And she said to me, you know, um, there are things that I don't preach, which just sharing knowledge about the Bible, and I said, there are things that I don't preach. And I said, why would you say that? Yeah, look, yes. like healing, I've experienced it, I'll preach it. That's like right. this, I've experienced it, I'll preach, preach it. it. You see, this morning thing they are saying, I've not experienced it, experience I would not preach it. it. So it's the same answer that I'll give you for blogging. <laughs> I just think that, yes, um, what I would know is mm -hmm. get a little knowledge of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. People should know about blogging. Mm -hmm. Don't just, you know, for instance, in your Bible, I, I worry about our young stars. Yes. There is too much of that mentality of following, that, mm -hmm. that um, uh, you know, bandwagon mentality. People mm -hmm. just want to do things because others are doing it. They just want to follow and all of that. So suddenly everyone is a news commentator. Mm -hmm. Everyone is an analyst on radio, mm -hmm. on TV. And these are people who are quite empty with your apologies. Yeah. So it's important, yeah. it's important to get some grounding. Mm -hmm. It's important to get some mentoring. It's important to know what you want to blog about, how to do it, and then you know you, you go ahead and do it. But that idea of because this person has done it, because Parapandi is doing a TV show, I need to do a TV show mm -hmm. now. That's the one that I come there. Okay. So for bloggers, um, they just have to understand what, what they're doing. And and then they can roll. I don't want to understand it because I don't want to blog. <laughs> That's not part of you. Absolutely. All right, so Michael, let me ask you this. If you had an opportunity to change fake news in journalism, mm -hmm. what would you do about it? You know, I I I try to be very smart. Mm -hmm. I think I was smarter than myself there with that question. Because the moment you were asking that question, I thought you were going to ask me, if you had an opportunity to change um, your profession, if would you were not a journalist, would what would it be? Okay. I will still answer that. Okay. You know, I do like a politician. You know, a politician in Nigeria, you ask him a difficult question. He says, he resets the question in his head. And you answer. answer. That's right. You know, so I just answer that then I go back. Um, if I were not a journalist, I were not in the media, mm -hmm. I'd be a policeman. Why? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, I brought trouble on myself. Why? You know, yeah, because um, the Nigerian police, mm -hmm. man, just like the past, mm -hmm. just like the medical doctor, uh -huh. and just like the teacher, the Nigerian policeman does so such fantastic job. It gets very rapid. Like, yeah. Very little mention. In fact, all we do is Negatives. ingratitude. Mm. We, we call them names, we insult them. And I tell Nigerians, look at the way the society is, look at the way Nigeria is. Mm. If this if Nigeria, if the society, if our country is like this with the police, mm. imagine there was no police. Ah. Oh. They would have been, would have been okay, crazy. Yes. So so I, I just love them. I love the fact that see, sometimes you're driving back at 2 a.m. Yeah. and it's raining. Really this man. And, right. and see the cars they are in. Get to their offices. You will cry for them. See their, the, 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 the environment they work. Nobody is talking about that. People have money and they say, oh, I'm a billionaire. How have you affected? So, so, so rather than condemn them, find out their problems. That's there are right. police stations in this country. They don't have one car. There are others that have a car or two. Mm -hmm. They don't even have a fuel, uh, you know, fuel allowance. For, for the car to they cannot move anywhere. That's you know, right. so, and then... Oh no, so but back to what you <laughs> said, yes, um, about fake news, it's just for all of us to do um, two things. Number one, let's have what we agreed before, conscience. Number two, anybody taking in something. It's just like when you want to take drug. If it is not something that's going to do good, good to your body, with your health, you're not going to do it. You know, so don't allow any news, don't take in any news that will not add value to your being. And people don't know, sometimes, we get killed mm. more by fear rather than by disease. That's right. Do you understand? So, and that is what it is. Um, fake news is like fear. It's, it's, it's a fake virus. News it's like a virus. In fact, fake news is a pandemic. That's right. right now, yes, it's global. It's right now, it's causing so much. And fake news can kill more than COVID-19. People don't know that. People play with it. That's because right. if somebody tells you, hey, this man has promised to do it. Oh, this man is doing that. And you go there and see it's fake. Do you understand? So people should 
price caution mm. and restraint mm. as they share their news or as they take a news. Because sometimes you could just be listening to a news that you haven't even confronted, you've already crucified the person on the cross with the price and then you look stupid yeah. trying to relate it to somebody else, Absolutely. which of course it is not true. Let me ask you this. You sound well read and well spoken and all the good accolades that I would love to give to you today. What would be your favorite read? What do you love to read? Um, first, I'll say, <laughs> having gone to too much school, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked by that, uh, yes. Um, did you ask my favorite read? My yeah, favorite? What, would you, what do you like to read? What interests you? You know, people have books that they read. Sometimes you just want to sit down and read something inspiring. I, I like to read. You, you'll be shocked by this. Tell me. The thing that's, um, that makes my day is humor. Get out. I, I tell you, um, I suffer depression. I, <gasps> yeah, sure. I, I, I believe so because um, I, I do a very thankless job. Mm -hmm. You know, see people, people just uh, they don't add value. They just oh, he's doing this, mm -hmm. and then they are quick to condemn Damn or they are quick you. to move away and all of that. So it makes me really sad. And I see that people only take advantage okay. when they come, when they need you. They don't need you. They move on and all mm -hmm. that. And then. Um, I see that my, my own ministry, mm -hmm. my, my work, my life, mm -hmm. uh, is to give. You know, so sometimes when you don't have to give becomes a problem. problem. When you give and then you don't have any for yourself, it becomes also a problem. That's so true. I like I like you more. I I spend tremendous time reading. Reading you more. and wow. I can read you more from anywhere, and I can extract um, oh. you more from stone. Wow. I can laugh at anything. I can, for instance, I came here, I saw you are a director. Mm -hmm. Looks like a very funny guy. Even the way he was walking to take me to one weed and all that. I I, I just lost looking at him behind us. So when I'm writing, I write about him someday. And I was laughing, you know, and all of that, you know. So um, I read you more. I, I really, really, really love you more. And I haven't been to too much school, so the little I've um, been, anytime I'm worried mm -hmm. about this school thing, I, mm -hmm. I tell myself, who oh, has really gone to school in Nigeria? Those people went to too much school in Nigeria. Where, what, Where are they? You know, you know, they where's, just, where's their life? They just, like, uh, really? You know, they're so, you know, the. And I'm not uh, disparaging anybody. It's the truth. Of um, the people who, who rule us, mm -hmm. you know, how now, how far, you know. So uh, <laughs> it's not up to. Uh, Michael, you are. Yeah, and that's the humor I was telling you. Well, you know what? Hey, you got me laughing though because hey, I've never thought about it that yeah, sure. way either. Like, how where are all the first uh, class graduates? Yes, sir. My daughter met first class and I met Boy, first class. And I called her. I said to her, and I know why I'm not um, really. You know, it's good to make first class. So. And I have been also trying to make first class with the streets. Mm. Because you don't know what this country is going to ask of you. Me. Yes, the people who make first class. Okay, where are the people who make first class in the first name? In the, when it comes to the power equation of this country. Where are, are they? they? Where are Not they? one of them has ever left this country. No. And the way things are, are, are going, they may never have left this country. But, and you know what, Mike? Yes. I grew up, you know, of course, you know, I grew up in a state mm -hmm. where I got to see a whole lot of things and I see that. The C student, the Irish. Of course. They're the one that wrote them. In fact, you, you saw, you saw, I have this art, you know, I told you, I like um, you more. You more, yes. So there's this um, short clip, mm -hmm. short um, footage mm -hmm. of um, President as it was, mm -hmm. George Bush. Uh -huh. He goes to address the class of uh, people who have just graduated and said, Oh, yes, I I came here to graduate. You made first class. It's some way. It's not even in the states. Yeah, uh, Michael Kumla. Ah, Kumla. <laughs> Those who did this, I, I, I came here to congratulate you. But for the C students, and it stopped. You too can be president wow. of the United States. Like, you don't catch it because yeah, the, got it. all the other ones who made uh, first class, you know, they yeah, are not coming here. <laughs> but this student like me, he was talking by himself. himself. You too can be president, and the whole hall went crazy. Is, I mean, so. oh wow, that is just something that people have to look into because sure. I understand that here in our side of the world, everybody's also talking about education. Mm, yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure, sure, sure. And I'm like, mm. seriously, sure. there's a whole lot of things to mm. learn in this world that you have to do with yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. I strongly believe, my opinion and my spiritual belief, that one day people will get jobs and mm. it doesn't have anything to do with your certificate. Well, we're getting there. We're yes. getting there. We're, we're getting there seriously. and. Uh, I also think the time has come. Mm -hmm. uh, even this, my father, mm -hmm. my, fa my fisherman father, mm -hmm. who beat me silly because mm -hmm. I wanted to play football. Because okay, so I now have a first degree. Uh, unfortunately, that's all I have. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I'm going to have a doctorate. Because my daughter is just finished, really she has a master's. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so I now have um, that. Mm -hmm. And then they are footballers. Mm -hmm. 
who don't have anything. And they they don't even have a secondary school in Serbia. Okay. They have billions, you know, and they are adding value, value. greater value to their to their to their lives and their families, right. you know. That's so right. so people should know. Parents should allow their children. That thing of school is important to go to school where you can go to school, but it's also important to develop your talent and then um, answer the call. And nature. just be what God wants you to be. be. What is the relationship between rape and journalism? Is there any relationship? And what is your views on rape? Yeah, the the only relationship that I think exists between rape and journalism <laughs> would be um, the fact that I mean, um, journalism is supposed to be the, to, supposed to be the, the mirror, supposed mm -hmm. to be the reporter, supposed mm -hmm. to tell us What's going on? about rape. I don't know what that journalism has done that enough, but you can't mm -hmm. blame journalists mm -hmm. equally because they themselves are also raped by the powers that be almost really? every day. They are raped by 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 governments. They That's are raped right. by 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 the, by their by their employers. They are raped mm -hmm. by their sponsors. They are mm -hmm. raped by clients and all of that. So, mm -hmm. but. When you, I know this, the, the, the rape you talked about, the sexual rape and all mm -hmm. of that, the injustice against women, the injustice against minors, mm -hmm. uh, it's something that should worry everyone. I, I think that um, it's up to journalism to try to raise the bar of awareness, just continue to create more awareness, make mm -hmm. people know that, and don't shield anybody. Having said so, what's my view on rape? Mm -hmm. I think rape is animalistic. You know? mm -hmm. um, uh, somebody asked me recently, what is um, the reason? What do I think is the reason? I, think, I don't think there's any reason for that. It's just the kind of injustice that we all should rise up against. Because it's right. a pandemic and it's uh, right. coming very hard That's against right. us. That's right. I, I share your sentiments as well. So what would be your closing thoughts to encourage positive journalism and of course encourage those people who are still interested in going into the um, journalism as a career? Fantastic point to leave it. I think that the Society should prepare. I think that society should um, society should know that it can only get what it it can only um, reap what it sows. Mm -hmm. Society must start to reward journalists who have lived up to expectation, who have lived um, up to the moral bar. They have done well. And society continues to pay people who are not journalists to, so that they become journalists, pay, mm -hmm. called, they continue to pay quack journalists. Society will continue to uh, rip quack rip, whether they like it or yes. And mm. even the and even the youngsters who are coming, it's just like telling youngsters in a quiet room, hey, see, go to school, leave politics. What kind of advice is that? And you say the youngsters are not listening. Why should they listen? Mm -hmm. When politics is paying far better Bye. and quicker. Do you understand? Yes. Politics pays quicker. Everyone can see. Mm -hmm. Then you, you say, no, 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 go to school. No, no, no. Who has gone to school? Who? You know, so, 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 so those are the points that I need people to look at. Okay. We need to get to a particular point where we know that it is what we do that we get. Um, encourage people and then make sure that people who do poorly, mm. people who report news wrongly, mm. or who, who want to harm people, who want to destroy government, mm -hmm. make sure those kind of people, nobody pays them. Mm. Do you understand? Okay. Pay the right people and okay. reward the right people. That's Create right. a beautiful reward system. That's if right. there's no reward system, all you just do is when, when somebody does something well, nobody encourages that person. When somebody does something bad, everybody starts to talk. Everyone is going to just continue like that, unfortunately. I'm so thankful you brought me here. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm so grateful and honored, I must say, that you would honor my invitation to come to the Princess Fata Foundation. Thank you. And we pray that everything you set out to do in the future, like God will Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. After all is said and done, now remember, the wall is ruled by creativity. And I strongly believe that we could have creativity in reporting news of events. Remember, you will be judged by what you say, what you write, and what you do in this world by God. But as a journalist, whatever you report to the world, make sure it is true and just before God and man, because you will be held accountable. And that is changing minds, changing attitude. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akabi. You do take care of yourself. Perspectives. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show 
some love Hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching the Princess Patapanyo Show 